Public Health Command Atlantic introduced its latest training aid to the Air Force Military Working Dog Handlers at Joint Base Andrews in Maryland and the 4th Medical Battalion Surgical Team B, a Navy Marine Reserve Unit at Joint Base Anacostia Bowling in Washington, D.C. We're using the canine diesel, which is the newest training aid that we have in our resources. This dog is basically a real dog, pretty much. It has fur that is realistic. It has a pulse, a, a respiration rate. You can control both of those. You have options of amputations, bleeding wounds. You can suture with it. You can intubate it. It expands our hands-on training for medical. Previous aids were not as advanced. When they had the Jerry dog and the Hero dog, it was just like a mannequin. Um, the Diesel dog has so much to offer for training. For one, it does look realistic. This dog helps readiness on both sides of the house. It helps our handlers be ready for giving medical care and it helps us tangos teach this and also learn this, all these skills. So we have our individual critical task list that covers a certain amount of critical care tasks for a working dog. How to manage a bleeding wound, how to treat for bloat, how to do basic combat life support. All of this can be done with this dog because of the capabilities it has. These Navy doctors and corpsmen as well as the Marine MDWs, were briefed on K-9 Tactical Combat Casualty Care. So basically, we assessing the dog, um, checking their airway for airway obstruction, circulation, preventing bleeding, um, and just going basically over the general stuff. Often we have working dogs or we're deployed with other units that have their working dogs and we realize when they get to the aid station that their, their vet tech team is just a step or two behind. They're in the neighborhood but they're not in with coming with the dog off the aircraft. So we need to be prepared to cover that time from point of injury when we first say hello to when, the, when support gets there. We need to cover that so the dog doesn't to compensate, and that's what this training is for, to make sure we can fill that gap until the subject matter experts get on hand. I think the best way to equate this would be for whiskeys, they have those training aids, those bodies where it mimics a human body and it's very realistic. This is our version of it and it's the best way for our training.